So this is what the buffer actually looks like. It's it's just a little weight. You know, okay. this thing, if you feel it, it's got oh, some yeah. weight to it. That one's probably about three and a half ounces. Okay. Uh, maybe a little bit more since it's an AR-10 that we have here in front of us. And then your spring, just like the gas system in the top half, yeah. your spring and buffer combination also plays into how the gun cycles. If you've got too heavy of a weight, then your bolt's going to come back forward a lot faster than it needs to. And, you know, you can mess up the timing and the, or the cyclic rate yeah. of the gun. Okay. If your spring's not strong enough, it won't have enough force to push the bolt all the way back forward like it needs to. Right. So it just, again, there's so many different ways that you can tackle this. And there's so many variations of buffer springs out there. There's so many variations of the actual buffers themselves out okay. there. 